Hello everybody, good evening, I'm Jimmy Ventura, in the booth with me is Rick Schiavone and Fimea. Welcome to Monday Night Claw! Welcome everybody to Monday Night Claw! One more night, the GFW come to your house to bring the best of the best wrestlers in the planet and the universe. Hello, Famir, hello, Jim, hello, JFW Universe. Chalice has concluded, BBSL leagues are concluding, tensions are running high, and emotions are all over the shop. Let's see what the fallout is tonight on Monday Night Claw, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry, Cocky. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little bit. Uh, 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 so let's. We've got Wemdorp Championship. Uh, let's let's get to that. Yeah, throw it versus some random. Oh. Wait a minute. It's it's Mr. Jim McMahon. He's not the general manager anymore. Does he want a shot at the title? God knows. I don't know, he clearly has something to say. God damn it! <laughs> Theresa May was running her mouth the other day, and I've got to say, I'm not really very happy about that. But the good old boys, the glorious ones, they went out there and they tried to reach that brass ring for someone else. But guess what? Lemon is shit, and he failed. He's pathetic. Dress for business, dress for losing more like. But the glorious ones, they've earned my respect. They're both that pieces of absolute crap. So guess what? I'm not the general manager anymore, but I am the billionaire owner. So it's SummerSlam. It's cock and ball torture versus the glorious ones for the tag team championship. The two heads titles are on the line. God damn it. See ya. Wow, huge. What a statement. See ya. <laughs> for Mr. Jim Z. McMahon himself. Been in here to give a chance for the title for the glorious ones. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a match. The SummerSlam. Oh, baby, that card is getting stacked. <laughs> It's gonna be absolutely crazy. Summer Slam in two Sundays. Yeah. It's it's a shame that it seems that Mr. Jim's forgot of half of what he's gonna say, but hey, at least at least he hit one thing. <laughs> well, you know, billionaires at that age and all that tend to forget things, little details, but that's alright. <laughs> One, one too many of uh, life's guilty pleasures uh, get into his brain these days, indeed. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, it, hard to imagine anyone beating Cock and Ball Torture. The, the run that they've been on is just beyond words now. However, the glorious one's just about as good as it gets for challengers, isn't it? So that that is a, a wonderful match, and uh, yeah, it will be competitive. Absolutely. Yes, yes, it's going to be an epic match, as we expect from Summer Slam. <laughs> yeah. Right, so now it's the Wemdorp Open Challenge. A mystery challenger to take on Mr. Throwick. I hope it isn't a slug. <laughs> oh, it should have been full force. <laughs> it's Dave! Oh, it's damn Dave! This is going to be a match. <laughs> what the... I mean, who is this? What is going on here? Damn Dave. It's Dave. 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 <laughs> Be able to cheer him up very well. All right, all right, gentlemen and ladies, we are in for a show with Damn Dave here. 
<laughs> well, he better turn throw into some soup then. Uh, you know, cabbage <laughs> soup, definitely not the worst. <laughs> What an entrance, deserving for a true champion, <laughs> like Mr. Throwick. And he, he is a true champion, like, it was such an impressive performance, wasn't it, to, to win the title yes. last week. Absolutely amazing. I, I really would like to see a, a long run here for Throwick, but good luck to Damn Dave. This should be a good matchup. I'm very, very interested to uh, to see who comes out on top. <laughs> Damn Dave, I've seen uh, I haven't been in the ring for a long while. Yeah, that's true. You might have a bit of ring rust. Oh, Dave! <laughs> so, Mr. Thrower probably doesn't even know who is Dumb Dave. <laughs> no, he's probably never seen him before. And just who the, is behind the, kind the mask? He's just the wrestler. He can, he can take on anyone, can't he? He just gets in the ring, doesn't worry about the opposition, does his own thing. And he knows that his game plan is, is good enough to win any match. Exactly. He's the man that hides his face versus the cabbage that is all face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has enough face for the two of them. It's true. It's true. Dude. What a title. Who wouldn't give their all to have that on their mantelpiece in the lounge? <laughs> Pride of place. <laughs> Hey, Dave won that amazing rumble. He won the first ever JFW rumble, in fact. He didn't need to save his job. <laughs> Absolute fan favourite is Dave. Whereas, yeah, you know, throw it, getting a, a little bit arrogant, maybe, with the uh, with the title and all the wins. So, yeah, maybe maybe the fans behind Dave in this one. Dave. Who can not be behind Dave? Dave. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be in front of Dave, so yeah, behind him is probably the best uh, second uh, place to be. Hmm. After away from Dave. <laughs> yeah, a different state to Dave is the uh, is the best place to be, just to be sure. <laughs> Sour crap. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, very well. Dave mm. does in a waste as a second. Throig winning the title of purple and now fighting Dave, who has got purple on him. Uh, this is quite the purple. There is purple a theme, theme here. There is a theme. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't got a, a JFW title for each of the colours in the rainbow <laughs> so far. But uh, mm -hmm. one, one for purple is a start. Yeah. Really oh. nice start. Oh no, reversal! Oh, and throw his famous counters. <laughs> Take a leaf out of my patch, he says. <laughs> Cracks the neck. Yeah, this is where we see the technicality. Just feeling him out at first, throw it. No panic. And just a tactical pin here. Never going to get the win. Just, uh, puts just all the pressure. Gets the pin equity there. <laughs> the opposite of how oh. a space cadet tries to run through matches. <laughs> <laughs> Are any pins at all, of course. <laughs> oh, Dave, right back with the uh, with the pin that he knows as well. He says, "Anything you could do, I could do better." Matched him for Steph for Steph and a DDT. Oh. Savage, right onto the head of uh, Throid, but of course not that damaging against the cabbagey head as he took that gigantic power driver from PC and shrugged it off. Well, I think the uh, the five second rule applies, right? If a head of cabbage hits the floor, <laughs> it has five seconds to get back up, and he definitely got up quickly there, so he's all right. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Throwing Oh, Dave countering here. Oh, what a vicious stomp. Wow. Do you have a trapezius if you're a cabbage? Does the blood flow to your head the same way? Well, apparently so. He's in a bit of pain, whatever it is. I don't think he has any I... blood, does he? I, I mean, in theory, no. But neither cool father kids and Throwick has four. So, who knows what he you know, is. No, we're clearly a mutant of nature here. <laughs> so maybe he does have a trapezius. <laughs> 
Does feel like throwing. Starts to get on top now for the second row, but Whoa. wonderful sunset flip. Beautiful. Abe needs Let to find something. Travel. He is, he is. Taking him to the apron now. Might want to take this outside. Oh, God. His arm bent right the wrong way a little bit there. Oh, God, look at this, look at this. Oh! oh. <laughs> what a movement by Mr. Throwe. Amazing. Fantastic positioning. <laughs> doesn't know what Breaking to do, the count. <laughs> Going out again. I've seen butterfly, I've seen a horse fly, but I've never seen a cabbage fly. <laughs> Until now. Cabbage flies are quite common, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. We've all seen lemon fly loads of times, you know. Fruit flies are oh, really annoying. Oh, fantastic kick to the face. He might be going for the uh, the count out win here. This could be a tactical victory for Throke to retain the title. Might, yeah. Nope, throws him back oh, in, doesn't no, want to no, win no. that way. He wants to win fair Look. and square. Ready He's to... absolutely confident in his victory. Surely too slow, yeah. Com fairly comfortable kick out at two for Dave, but he is looking tired, he is looking beaten up. <laughs> and Throke's getting pumped. Counted by Dave. Oh, but look at this. Didn't last long. Brutal from Throwek. <laughs> oh, the kicks are devastating. <laughs> oh, what agility. What agility. What flexibility. The hardest part of the cabbage, the soles of the boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Brainworm striking him, though. Well, you know, he, he's deserved a bit of a rest. Moon no, he's there. going, he's going. Ooh. Top rope, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, brutal, oh. brutal elbow. Incredible. Oh, there's the camera. How is he fighting back? How is he fighting back? <laughs> he can't have much left. Oh, poke to the eye. Poke to the eye. Oh, it's one of the few, very few things that they have, two of them, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> One tooth, one ball, but two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and now they think serious problems by trying to fight. Well, the strength, the strength that he's been doing his squats as well. The strength of Dave. Oh, oh. oh catches him a massive slam. And then the pin, you never know. Surely not quite done enough damage Ooh. yet, but a nice kick. Nah. Really you cold. need to be. You need to be much, much intense if you want to be Throwek. Yeah, Throwek still had the best of this, but Dave on top now. If he could keep this going, he could find a way back in. The oh big my Dave word. slam. The big Straight Dave. into the pin. It could be it. Oh my goodness, he's done it. He's done it. He's done it. He's Dave's done it. Dumb champion. Dave. He's not dumb. He's no blessed Dave. <laughs> Dave is the champ. Will he finally be able to afford going to the dentist and get some dentures? <laughs> you better not trade in the belt. Imagine that. Look, imagine the fortune someone would pay to own that belt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just the merchandising, you know, the new toys designed in the GFW uh, factories in uh, East Taiwan, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm torn, guys. I was really enjoying Throwick as champion, but uh, and, and it felt like Throwick had the best of that match, but just that slam out of nowhere was devastating. Absolute, absolute beast. Dave. That was the two count just before the finish, and there it is, that kind of sidewalk slam. It, and and you can see that throw is absolutely out. He's unconscious, he's in another planet. <laughs> it's talking to so, Mother Earth. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hello, big ham. Big Dude. ham says hello back. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, here we have the big ham. He's has in the booth. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Ham's just wandered in eating a big ham kebab. <laughs> it's fucking delicious. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Someone has to do it. Someone has to do it. 
We've just seen Dave triumph over a, over a cabbage. Uh, of course, salad something that Fault Force never wants to tangle with. <laughs> but now we've got a we've got an intro, very interesting triple threat for you now. We've got ex CCL champions. We've got Shawnee, of course, uh, won it long ago when there was money involved, but not for him. K Fog <laughs> finally won it very recently, as did Crystal Hunter. So. Wonderful to see these Good three. Good evening, little wrestlers. Because it's the CCL final of the day, you? you see, that was the idea. Nice. Yeah. We'll see who who's the greatest champion out of these three. It's uh, long been discussed. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying it's a rep my other half. The man with the tall hair. The skinny <laughs> ham. <laughs> yes. But I mean, the, the man ban. Uh, well, though, well, personal choice, I guess. <laughs> with a man bun like that. Oh, the things you can do. <laughs> People can. Uh, well, one thing you can do is get laid. That's for sure. So, but other than that, yeah. Yeah. Play so, guitar on Wonderwall and get laid. Yeah. You're basically saying man bun sometimes for me. Man bun sometimes. <laughs> Never. <laughs> when uh, when are you getting a man bun, Rick? Yeah. Um, I've I've tried, but it keeps uh, keeps knocking the lights out. So uh, it was t it was too tall. It was too big. Oh man, DTK, what an entrance. <laughs> We've not seen this for a while, yeah, great to see him. Great to see him outside of uh, tag action for a change as well. He he is a, he is a force in singles matches, so uh, yeah, he'll he'll be a contender here. Someone could say that his tag team partner was only slowing him. This is a run towards a victory. Now he has to prove it. Finally, we don't have a Blood Bowl supercomputer, but we have the GFW to decide who's the best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the winner of this match should definitely, uh, you know, get another chance uh, stepping up the ladder. Shawnee used to be an absolute force in JFW. He's fallen away in recent times, but there's no reason he shouldn't push back up. But yeah, if PTK is to win this, or in fact, Chunter, uh, another tag team specialist, of course, there's no reason they shouldn't push on in singles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, the man, the myth, the legend. The rude in Rudeham, Shawnee himself, with a double set of headphones there. Yeah. Oh, with his leather flashing jacket as well. <laughs> what an entrance, what an entrance. What a lad. <laughs> Flashlights. <laughs> Shawnee, well known for being sent off during these matches, or uh, for smacking people in the balls. Let's see if that happens tonight. Yeah, this is no DQ uh, elimination, so he no can... DQ. So Shawnee's Shawnee's home ground. He's got a good advantage here. He does, yeah. He can he can devastate balls in this fight. Yeah, he had a break from Blood Bowl for a while and ended up in chess eventually. But rumor has it that he was in dance off competitions in between the two. <laughs> yep. See, see All right, who, who here would make an appearance in a, a storybook role? <laughs> <laughs> we can only dream of a shiny appearance in Story Big Brawl. A lot of JFW superstars aren't playing Story Big Brawl though. Very impressive. Kadenik was in the top 100 he posted the other day. Despite being a little bit was playing it. Who? Mia Khalifa was playing it the other day. Really? Wow, long time yeah. sub Mia Khalifa. I'm more of a Sasha Gray fan myself, to be honest. Oh, look at this, man. Chunter! The, oh, the, the golden boy! The golden boy! He unlocked the Whoa. golden is king! Wow. Whoa. We, we've, gone back to, we've gone back to Blood Bowl Chaos Edition. Every time he wins a match, he gets stronger. He doesn't get a new hat, but he gets a new bodysuit. <laughs> so man jumps into the ring with his golden yeah. shiny suit. Chunter, oh, yeah, Amanda, the, went for holidays of Blood Bowl 2. For two weeks, four weeks ago. <laughs> there he is, figuratively reaching for glory, mm, climbing the rungs of the ladder. I'm surprised he doesn't have a shiny cod piece, to be honest with you. Yeah, he probably should have done. If he wins, he'll get one, I assume. Nice That's the way it works, wins. instead of a belt. <laughs> Great tactics from Shawnee here. Let those two oh, fight. Yeah, it out. Yeah, behind. Yeah, literally chilling in the corner, yeah. He's got it all worked out. Oh, now they're backstabbing. <laughs> there you go. 
Johnny does like to have a nap. He's been well known for laziness after joining Rudham. <laughs> Gets lubed up in oil occasionally, and uh, so, you know some of that passes over into his solo career. You know the lube unfortunately doesn't, but the laziness does. Well, he goes down and shot. breaks Chunter's leg. Yeah, it cost him big there. Chunter missing with the shot, allowed, allowed Shawnee in. PTK though rested up and then uh, now taking out Shawnee. So PTK on top. Oh boy. <laughs> All oh, the power PTK. In PTK, of PTK obviously have the strength and size advantage in this uh, fight. Yeah, he probably weighs as much as those two put together. <laughs> And then some, yeah. And and the ref, I think, you could throw in as well. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, but will he last out? Will he have the stamina if this one goes deep? You could you could uh, imagine that he could do with a quicker finish, PTK. Well, we all want to finish when we see Shawnee. Oh, here comes Shawnee. Oh, that is very, it's very tight golden spandex. You can see the arse curves right there. <laughs> cool. Oh. Very, very tight. Yes, very, very tight. I hear you've been rat assed a few times, Fault Force. <laughs> a few times, a few times. I do enjoy it occasionally. Oh, Sean is getting rat assed now. Goodness <laughs> me. Oh. Somewhere in between heaven and hell. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, Sean is used to being uh, between two men. <laughs> being part of the Ham uh, team, obviously. Yes. Oh, Chant oh, 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 Chant is showing oh. off. Oh, it's devastating. He could be in a bad way here. Peach K could always roll oh, him up. Yes. That could be it. Oh, no chance. No chance kicks out of it. Don't beat a golden rat that easily. <laughs> What happens when you get your gutter run at a legend? Yeah. You just get a, you just become golden. Yeah. Unfortunately, Chum's here not displaying any sure feet, but Shawnee is. He's Shawnee's PTK straight to the fucking face. Great ring awareness from Shawnee there, though. Chum is starting to get to his feet, and Shawnee switching his attention from him to PTK, and then back to PTK as uh, as Chunter rolls out. This is excellent uh, craftsmanship from Shawnee. Yep, going for the legs, attacking the vertical base of the bigger guy. Brilliant strategy. Yeah, as I was taking advantage. Chunter, maybe the rest as a rat, but the true rat in the ring is Shawnee there. Absolutely. He softened him up. This could be it. And the there you go. This four. could be it. This could be it. He's targeting the legs. He's and there you go. He taps. He's official. Cool. He's official. PTK. From Shawnee. Beg it for mercy. Oh, but here's the crystal walls of Chunterino. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my god. Shower of Chunterino. What he made. <laughs> what a screenshot. <laughs> oh, oh Shawnee powers him. out. No tapping for Shawnee. <laughs> Give up sometimes. <laughs> not right now. Shawnee probably listening to recordings of his own voice on his uh, headphones. <laughs> you know, lines like a, a winner, a champion doesn't need friends and all that. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Brutal! Beating Shoney his own game. Oh! Oh! That's bro is this it? it? That's beautiful. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be lights out for Shoney. And Whoa. there you go, Chanter! New outfit, new rat, lucha, new man, he's, lucha, he's on his lucha, way up. Lucha. Is this the beginning of a solo career for uh, Chanter? You know, trying to get the gold of the title? Maybe. The golden boy of CCL. Oh, I want some ice cream. I might go get some ice cream. You guys want some ice cream in the booth? I already have my dinner, but... And also, I don't trust... Anything with cream in the name that comes from you, Paul Force. <laughs> wow. Don't want a bit of homemade ice cream. Just enjoyed that kebab there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely not a homemade ice cream from Paul Force. No, no. <laughs> got a feeling that might taste a little salty. And now we're here, and we got, we got a quick break for the next match as we see Chunter strutting his stuff around. Greg, what's your opinion on wontons? <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> they're okay. Like you're not going to be happy with this answer, but yeah, like they're they're fine. They're, they're, they're not, fine. They're not my favourite. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's probably a bit are like they bad? You. Are they bad though? No, I wouldn't like, go as far as to say they're bad. They're, they're edible. Does it take a certain kind of psychopath to unironically eat wontons? <laughs> to, to deliberately order and pay for them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's all. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Well, thanks for clearing I've that never, up, Rick. I've never tried them, and I have no interest in trying them. Right, now, fresh from his CCL final, it's Oriolensis and Lean Gary, Das Hats, taking on CBT, the tag team champs, with Sheila. You know, they, there you go, what can you say about them? Amazing defence on last week on Monday Night Claw, wasn't it? Against all Absolutely odds. Absolutely, a match for the uh, history books, uh, breaking all the expectations. And uh, delivering one of the best performances I've ever seen on the GFW. On on paper, this should be an easy match for them. You never quite know in the JFW. So, uh, yeah, interested to see how this goes. JFW, Monday Night Claw, about to get a little bit country. Well, let's not forget that on paper, Orelensis should have been out of the cup in the first uh, round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. And he managed to reach the final. Yep, incredible performance from the Country Wizard. Interesting that Lean Gary flies over every single time from Germany to play, uh, to, you know, to, uh, to fight in his matches, doesn't he? Shows real dedication here for the JFW. I mean, they all come from England and everywhere as well, you know, it's an international company. Uh, well, fun. the JFW... It is, it is, but, you know, flying over, especially in Rona times. Sure. Yeah. You know. DFW have uh, personal airports and airplanes, you know, to bring everybody to the matches. <laughs> exactly. You know, being the biggest uh, brand in wrestling in the whole uh, world for the last 40 years. <laughs> yeah. Still a health Rumor and safety hazard. The, uh, the wrestlers have to self-isolate. That's why, and then get that's why they fly on private jets, you and know. Then, and then come back. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A brilliant point by Bezels. Look, Lean Gary is just sitting, sitting, sitting around in Berlin, right? And then all of a sudden, whoop! He's in the, he's in the middle of the. He's magic over. Yeah. One day he's not going to be ready. He's going to be in the middle of getting dressed. That, that's oh, probably that's well. probably why he looks so confused. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Because he, you know, he never remembers what happens during the fights. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if he if he rushed out and forgot his hat? That would just ruin everything, wouldn't it? Orelensis cast a uh, Sumo Monster, the Dungeons and Dragons spell, which could also in the in the second edition could also summon heroes of the level <laughs> of the spell. So that's it, just summon a Lingare, you know, boom, there you go. I'm surprised that Orelensis has managed to find his way here, to be honest. As we as we found out many times, he gets lost in the middle of leads. Yes. <laughs> well, just he walk, also gets lost. Off. He also gets lost in the middle of the pitch of blue, uh, blue ball and needs to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He, he just he walks off in the middle of leads. Doesn't tell anybody. We try text him, and he turns up the next day. <laughs> we thought he'd been well, kidnapped he didn't have or any something. Leads tonight. He didn't have any leads today. So uh, so here he is. There you go. Oh, what a shirtless man he is. <laughs> cool. Cool. And now, here they come. CBT, Coca Balter, Drew Sheila, the absolute legends of the tag team division. Absolutely. Yeah, the greatest of, of all time, the longest reigning champions. They've beaten all comers under every circumstance imaginable. They are so much more than a sum of their parts. Absolutely amazing cockerball torture. Coincidentally, Big Ham's favourite tag team as well. <laughs> he does love a bit of CBT. <laughs> yeah, I imagine he does. <laughs> Not just the tag team, eh? There we go. <laughs> you have to ask Mia Khalifa back in the dressing rooms. <laughs> Question is, when are we going to see a uh, fight between Mia Khalifa and Miss Reckless? That's what I want to know. Oh man, should we have a? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> could could Mrs. Reckless make an appearance in the GFW? Yeah, I mean, if we're getting that uh, the women's division up and running properly, that's uh, certainly a possibility. Nice start from Maradam here. 
<laughs> oh, and he knows it. Look at the confidence. Maybe this is the only way they could lose tonight, is a little bit of overconfidence, and he does oh. get caught. Oh. Brutal stuff from Oriol and Yeah, he's a, he's a better wizard than the one he hired tonight, that's for sure. Oriol is trying to get a win to make the people at uh, the Dios Discord server happy. <laughs> yep. Because they were the <laughs> Trying to prove that, you know, the bets were right. Oh, well, Moridan is having none of it. Absolutely monster. Which, by the way, <laughs> after someone uh, paid a subscription to Jimmy's channel, Moridan <laughs> gave for a lens a subscription to Jimmy's channel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The disrespect. <laughs> I mean, absolutely monster. <laughs> Absolutely printed on a t-shirt. <laughs> oh. Nice fight back from uh, from Maradam. Bit early, but he could probably do with a, a tag if he can buy himself a minute. And he whips him into the corner, so that is a possibility. Oh, he gets caught. Slick tag. Lee Gary, we see. Maradam in a bit of trouble here. Oh, Ooh, double team there. Das Hats, of course, have won the tag team many tag team titles many, many times. Um, yeah, but. they've been a little bit off the boil recently. They they were, like uh, like Shawnee, really, an absolute force in the tag team division not so long ago, but they haven't really been up there for a little well, while. Well, obviously, Orelensis has to focus more on his Blood Bowl career, but now <laughs> he's back full time to the wrestling. Yeah, Cotton Ball Torture haven't needed to be multi multiple champions, they just held it forever. <laughs> exactly. What's the point of winning it many times? Just win it once. I keep it. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Huge yeah. fight back from Moradami needs to make this count. That's oh. exactly where he wants him to be. And yep, there's the tag. Time. Beautiful tag Oh, team here comes uh, Gogi. And there you go. The referee is distracted. Amazing. Just what we've come to expect from Cockerball Torture. Perfect tag team unison. Oh. You know, it's, it's the lack of hats in the ring. That's all it is. All I'm going to say is Cocky has more hats than, uh, than Das Hats has here. But, you know, that's all that's I'm saying. True, Bucket hat's still a hat. <laughs> hats are, uh, are a way of life and a philosophy, though. It's, it's more than the actual wearing of a hat, I feel. Yeah. Oh, nice counter by Ligari. And now, Cock in trouble. Let's not forget that the, I'm pretty sure the glorious ones are watching the uh, match with the beginning a great interest because they're facing Cock and Ball Tutor for the title at SummerSlam. Yeah, I, honestly, I can't believe they haven't been banned for their actions last week, let alone given a, a title. I well, think clearly they have been rewarded. They have been rewarded. There's always this doubt of nepotism from uh, Mr. Jim C. Yeah, yeah Mr. Jim McMahon is a, is a son of a bitch, isn't he? At the end of the day, <laughs> he does what he wants. It's, yes, out of line. yes. It'd be interesting to see what Theresa May uh, has to say about that, really, at some point. Yeah. I mean, all I'm saying is that the JFW was never fair, to be honest. You know, I've heard that you can uh, you can get your own ham-themed arena for uh, for a packet of biscuits. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Great tag and let's not forget from, from what Hats. these people are willing to do for a score check. <laughs> exactly. Pocky didn't recover in the whole time it took uh, Orion Lances to go over and tag and Lean Garrett to come back. He's, he's in a bit of a bad way here. Yeah, maybe still feeling the effects from the vicious attack last week. I mean, for how long can the human body endure endless punishment every week? Yeah, that's true. It's, it is a hard life as the champs, isn't it? You're, you're up against the best tag team there is to offer week in, week out. Absolutely. Ooh, brutal move by Koki. Oh. Uh oh, don't get up, Lean Gary. Oh, rake to the eyes. Boosh. Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful kick. Is this it? Ori needs to save. He's taking too oh, long. And that's it. 
Just bait it. Oh, and then he slams Mora down. Aurelens is making a clear point. Brilliant stuff from Aurelens here. Wow, incredible. And now bringing get some time to recover for uh, Lingari. Why, why isn't the ref disqualifying Das Hats here? This is flagrant abuse of the five second rule. <laughs> Maybe he put a spell on him. <laughs> well, Aurelens can control time. The same way he controls space. <laughs> oh. Oh, nobody home there. You better stay on top though, because Moradam down Ooh, and out. After, great counter, uh, great counter by Lingari. But it's not enough. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Wow. Brilliant stomp there, stops him getting to the tag. Oh, Moradam to save. What's Ori doing? He's oh. distracted. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, space. <laughs> Oh, God, that was brutal, wasn't it? Like, basically a legal elbow to the head there. Disgusting. Banding, and now, talking about the legal moves, here comes Moridan. <laughs> yeah. This is an excellent clinical tag team wrestling from both sides so far. It's, uh, it's anybody's game. I thought Dasat's got on top earlier. Oh, oh and there we go. Caught him with a flying DDT, but look how tired Lean Gary is now. He does need to tag Ori. Yeah, Ori really the fresh man in the ring right now. Oh, Stinger Splash. Oh, no missing on that occasion. Nakamura has oh, got it in him to kick out, though. Cocky's going to make sure. Yeah. But again, Ori Lenses coming in. Demolishing Cocky. Goodness me. Clearly, Ori Lenses is dealing with some rage issues. But Moridam count as the count as the finisher. Oh, oh, oh there you oh. go. Ow. <laughs> Every time Moradam or Koki gets taken out, the other one dominates the match. Yeah. Their awareness is so good and a very important save for Mori there. That was over. Yeah, but Koki was taken out by Orelensis earlier, wasn't he? So he wasn't able to cover the uh, cover the pin attempt. No. I think Gary needs to make the tag so much. He's in such a bad way. Such Whoa. a bad way. And oh, again, Relensis on top. That's got to be a DQ this time. That's got to be a DQ. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, can't DQ if the ref is knocked out. This time, Ori's gone. But is the ref going to recover? Is the ref going to recover? He's up. He's up. Oh, <laughs> bicycle kick to the head. That's got to be it. GG. Oh, cover him, Moradam. Ori's out. Oh. He carries so beat up. Oh, my goodness. God, this oh. is it. Oh, we've got a new contender for the women's division, ladies. <laughs> Lingard is transitioning against his will. <laughs> oh, wow. Press slam from Lean Gary. Yeah. Oh, getting angry. This? Getting angry. He doesn't like to be touched. <laughs> Still no worry. Series elected. of close lines. Morgan is completely out, and now Lingari, Lingari, getting ready. <laughs> Gets him with the splash in the corner. Oh, Morgan, mm. somehow fighting back. And now Morgan is back to his feet, more or less. Might be just in time for a cover here. Morgan going for the pin, but he gets caught. Sorry, the tag, but he gets caught. No cells! No cells! He pops up into a scoop oh, slam! Oh my goodness, Moridan Hulk Hogan impression. Oh my god. Moridan. Press. And ready. Oh, beating the shit out Oh, but in. Oh, Lingard in the leg. Coming with a second oh. win. This is 80s wrestling all over again here. <laughs> and now he's going for the Scorpion Death Drop. Boosh, there you go. It's right next to Cocky. Yeah, it's Cocky's right next right to Cocky. Down. I can't see how Ori could save Cocky's there, it. Cocky's there. Ori is to be quick. Oh. Nah, not quick enough. Got a pin in your own corner. Oh, you got to take out the tag oh. partner first. But that's what he's doing here. <laughs> oh. No more Cocky does from Cocky, but he should really change his attention back to Moradam. Taking a little bit too long. 
the dash part of dash hats taking both of the CBT men out. You're going to go for the pin on any of them. I think he's going to put a pin in both of them. Huge oh. tag. Ori is so fresh. It's unbelievable. Oh, he's confused. Oh. Picked up. Picked up Cody. Yeah, he didn't know the legal man. Fantastic maneuver from CBT. Distracting the is enough to give more than a chance. It was hard to tell. Hard to tell who the legal man was there. Mm -hmm. Cocky's back in his corner as well. They've fully recovered here, Cockerball Torture. <laughs> as fresh as Ori is, he's getting given uh, all sorts of punishment for the little goblin. Who's the hottie? That's a good question, Ham. <laughs> We've got Lean Gary. <laughs> It's the ginger cowboy. We've got Oriolensis, who's the uh, country wizard. Moridam is the literal fucking goblin. As the referee, it's cocky on the outside there with his white hat and wombat pants. And then there's Sheila watching. It, any one of them could be the hottie. <laughs> oh, yes, of course, anyone, you know, in some minds. More oh, than others. The tag. What's he doing? He's confused where his corner is. He isn't able to make the tag. Uh, it's the case of the brain worms. No! Oh! Oh! There are you no are so bold in toxic, so bold in there from more than. Cocky! Oh, Cocky got the cover! Oh my god, he's gonna do it again! This is it, this is it, it's all oh. over! Oh, oh. oh god, that's Gary, gotta be it! To be the that's it, yes! <laughs> are so good, and there we go! Wow! GG. Who can? Who's ever going to beat them? They're incredible. It's going to be a call order for the glorious ones to beat the CVT. Absolutely. Might need uh, might need a women's division tag team to come <laughs> and uh, counter the tactics of Cock of <laughs> Yes. Yeah, At this point, yes, the GFW have going to have to create another tag team title, you know, to give the rest of the teams an option. <laughs> I've heard that uh, Jimmy's McMinn Max should have uh, should have no problem taking him out from what I've heard. <laughs> well, I don't I don't know so much. Look at the love between these two. That's part of why they're so successful. True friendship has no bounds. Yeah. Grabber of all testicles. <laughs> well, now. Now we've got Unseen Walker versus Volcayo Blitz Pit Grudge Match. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Volk turning into a turning into a <laughs> a forgot. A beast man. Yes, a beast man. That's the one. And then Unseen Walker already a fully fledged dwarf. Throw his layer. Already dwarf. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. Well, dwarf, dwarf, the, dwarf. These men often have claw. So uh, maybe, maybe Volk will just have the answer here for Unseen Walker. Maybe. I mean, to be fair, Volk doesn't look too intimidating. If he's going to claw you, it's going to be some like little cosmetic claws on the end of his fingers, isn't it? <laughs> like like little, little cat claws on the end of his fingers. <laughs> yeah, and that would like. I'll go one more with hamster claws. <laughs> there you go. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd let him have a go with me, but sure, <laughs> you know. Well, here's Unseen he coming unseen straight out of the stage. The Latino Troll Slayer. So oh, much dude. power. No doubt he's got Dauntless. But does he have the stamina to live with Volk? Well, and Thicker School is another guarantee. <laughs> Amazing that they allow him to wear the gold chains on the forearms during the match. Often used as a weapon. Pretty devastating. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty cheeky. Typical dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> What's his death roller? That's all I want to know. Yeah, he could have come in on the on the Austin uh, boogie. Couldn't come in on a death roller. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, the rare, the rare breed of Mex <laughs> Mexican Viking. 
Mexican Viking. Here comes Vulcan. He's a he's a new man. Or a new thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever oh. he is, he's new. Look at those little tight pants. <laughs> Fucking hell. And I, I don't think man. he picked up the win last week, but he was very, very impressive in his wrestling style. He, he certainly had a renewed vigor about him. Oh wow. He seems he seems to be a bit more a bit more for goal like right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's getting more and more. Looks like he's got uh, some goat, goat-like pupils, and uh, a bit more hair, and a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit more of a, a tire rework as well. Isn't he? Incredible. And some teeth, yes, yes. He's uh, changing, then he's evolving. <laughs> well, evolving or de-evolving depends <laughs> on how you like to see it. But yeah. yeah. To be honest, I think we all devolve a little bit while watching the GFW, but that's half the fun, isn't it? Oh, it yes. So I just say, no, no, the, the GFW like elevates, elevates us, makes us like men from the Renaissance. <laughs> oh, man, vote for go. So, um... <laughs> Kind of power advantage to Unseen Walker, but height advantage to, to Volk. They're quite evenly matched here, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Anyone could win. That's the GFW for you. Volk, not a, not a small oh, man. Oh, by any means. Unseen Walker dominating. <laughs> Cheeky choke. No, Cheeky choke is what happens back in the dressing room, so we're not allowed to talk about that in the GFW. <laughs> no. <laughs> Really leveraging well, the chains there for a bit of a chain choke. Yeah, disgusterous. Amazing what the refs let slide. We've just seen Cock and Bull Torture <laughs> literally living up to their name over and over again. <laughs> oh, look at the power from Volk. Goodness me. Wow. Oh, the steroids doing their job there. What a maneuver. He's on the gear. <laughs> really devastating. My problem is Ansin Walker is also on the gear. <laughs> Gonna wrap the chains around the neck again. He is. Oh, Look he at this is. chain, all in the oh, face and outrageous. neck of Volk. This is <laughs> outrageous. But Volk doesn't seem very uh, Volk favor doesn't seem very affected by it. <laughs> yeah, he's got Volfagor in his pants now. <laughs> Still building his Volkaio, but he has got Volfagor in his pants. <laughs> oh my goodness, the power Volk is displaying. Oh. Power bomb after power bomb. Not a small man to get up by any means on Scene Walker. Oh. Incredible moves by Volk. Yeah, absolutely huge. Must be taking chunks of life. Oh, I don't know. He holds on this time. That could be it. That really could be it. No. That looks rude. Good night, Night Demon. Oh, good night, night demon. Good night, everyone. Oh, and see Walker back on top now, though, calling for something. The power of dwarfs. Oh, there you go. Hangs him out to dry. Oh, more low blows. Oh, look at that, the headbutt with the horns. The horns, the horns. <laughs> oh my goodness, strength four blitz from Volk. <laughs> oh, sends oh. Frenzied to the outside by Unseen Walker. I see the Walker being a true juggernaut here. Oh, it might have been a frenzy trap. <laughs> oh, he's fighting sure back. Looks like it. Oh, now I see the Unseen Walker turn. Oh, wow. Into the uh, into the side area. Go on, see Walker. Let's get a crowd rumble going on. We don't see this very often at all. Absolutely not. <laughs> yes. Sir. And now he's massive beating there. I mean, there is no wrestling anymore. He's just punching into the face. This could end up Fueled anyway. by rage. He's just uh, pure rage. Gary's lounge at this right. <laughs> We're up to seven. Ah, oh, uh, it's all right. They're back in the ring. 
can see Walker exhausted and Volk with a huge toss. Yeah, I see Walker has to move too much and now. Borg ready. Whoa. Is this it? Beautiful. Oh. No. Wow. And seeing Walker proving that he still have cojones for a long time. Oh, this really will be it now. If Unseen Walker can't reverse this, it's surely over. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, oh my God. Listen him like a rag doll. He's a big man. Two. He's three. Two. And that's it. Borg for She's the victory. Until I'm victorious. Some greater power was looking over defend. him there, giving him the strength. Just in time for another treatment from uh, Reaper Dog. Well, the respect for Unty Walker, that was a hellacious battle for both men. Incredible. And hello, Pepper Biscuit, and thank you very much for the gift from the Super Bowl. Absolutely glorious. The ring couldn't hold Wait. them. Borg was in a subscriber already. Oh my god. <laughs> um, glorious. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so now we've got tag team action dress for business. Couldn't get the job done against Cock and Ball Torture. So now they've got to face the glorious ones managed by Mrs. Wanger. <laughs> well. I mean, what, what happens here? Glorious Ones already announced as the title challengers at SummerSlam, but if Dress for Business go over them, you know, it kind of makes a mockery of Jim McMahon's announcement. Wow. I that Mr. Uh, Jim C can change of opinion at any moment. Yeah, no, no fighting is done, Condordre. Just only, only book the shows is the only thing that happens. The AI does the fights. <laughs> I don't know any of the controls. <laughs> <laughs> I've got about really... 200 hours in and I don't even know the controls. Or more than 200 hours. Probably 500 hours, I don't know. I'm going to find out how many hours while this is on. Um, That's about 10% of your storybook brawl time, isn't it, mate? <laughs> more or less, more or less. And 0.1% uh, of the Blood Brothers uh, time. Yeah, yeah, the Battle Brothers was insane, wasn't it? But not as much as uh, Calcium's. Holy shit. Right, here we go. Oh my god, 1,124 hours don't even know the controls. Oh. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh, wow. And now comes Dress for Business with Javinia's has been a very rough time for business recently. <laughs> so they're trying to prove a point uh, tonight, fighting the contenders for the tag team championship at Summit. Slam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it really showed the gulf in the tag team division between the champions and everyone else last week. Dress for business beating everybody thrown their way in the previous months. Absolutely everyone on the roster. But when it came to facing the champs, who'd already been beaten up all night, they still couldn't get it done. Just unbelievable how dominant the champions are. Absolutely. And, and here, here are the men. Are. Uh, many say should be banned. Not given a tag team title shot, but that is the announcement we've had tonight. The SummerSlam contenders, the glorious ones, and Mrs. Wanger. And Jimmy Fantastic. Look at them glisten. Uh, Mrs. Wanger ready to drive them to victory. Oh, they look so glorious, though. Oh, so what happens when you min max an entrance, isn't it? <laughs> How many hours did you spend on this? Um, <laughs> not, not too long, actually. So a good you, four or five why hours. Why are you playing, Fall Force? Why are you playing? <laughs> I'm not implying anything. I'm just saying that you know some people enjoy a little bit of min maxing. I you mean, know? are you going to argue with Mrs. Wanga? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. She's always just proved to be the most dominant force in the GFW with a massive difference. I'd have a go. I'd have a go if I didn't have a, if, you know if I didn't have respect for Mr. Wanga. 
you know. But you know, I like I like Table Leg himself. He's a very nice lad. Loves his Ferrero Rocher when he goes out on his nights in Leeds. You know, yeah. good times. Unfortunately, Jim can't eat any of those Ferrero Rochers back in the dressing rooms because he only eats chicken, broccoli, and rice. Yeah. Uh, so we've heard. Occasionally, sweet potato. Yeah. And microwave the eggs, poached eggs. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> What an entrance that was, by the way. By the Good way. Good start here for Lemon. Jim getting softened up in the legs, maybe for a submission later. Oh! oh, 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 oh. We know Jimmy is very flexible after uh, his performance uh, past week, but <laughs> that must be really, really painful. Yeah, that did look rough. Lemon looks very angry. It's not his uh, usual happy face. <laughs> you could say he's getting a little bitter <laughs> after uh, losing Threw that away title the, shot. Threw away the chance of a lifetime, didn't they, last week? That, yeah, they'll never get an easier shot to become the tag team champions. Yeah, absolutely given to them on a silver spoon and they couldn't take uh, it. Maybe that was it, you know, that they were happy in the back of their minds that there was something that was being given to them, you know, like a gift or something like that. that they know, I don't like it this way. I like it the proper way. Maybe. The mayor doesn't like it when it's given to him. He doesn't like it that way. He likes it the proper way. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Lemon is a very serious, a straight uh, wrestler. <laughs> the fox, in the other hand. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, fantastic there. Uh, agility there. Yeah, it's the only way to beat Table Leg, isn't it? He's easily the most powerful of the men here. Pam Fox and Lemon oh, have to use their speed and agility to get the best of him. Got him on the retreat. Oh, oh, oh what a not mistake. A good strategy from <laughs> that was, you know. <laughs> laughing at his face was in a good move. <laughs> oh, but he's back up now. Look at the speed again. Whips an elbow into the face of Wanger. Takes him into his corner and drop kicks him right back out. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically there. I don't think he. Th I don't think he thought that through. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, Great what a counter, counter there, but oh my God! Just the sound of the fan. Just, I think I could hear broken bones there. <laughs> yep. Massive forearm to the face of Fan Fox. Yeah, softening up his arm now, and oh, full force taunt to get a much better time. Sorry, table leg wanger. Full force taunting it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, and but his full force is loving taunt. every second of this fight. Always, always want to get to see big burly wanger go after people. Sure. Could be it. We released that quite early. I don't think Fad Fox even fought out of that table leg. Just uh, wanting to dish out more punishment here. Really prove the point that they're deserving of this title shot amongst the controversy. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I mean, are they, though? <laughs> are they deserving think, of it? I don't know. I, I think if they win this match, I think they, they do prove that they're the, the number one contenders. Dress of business have, have been on top, other than their match against Crocker Bull Torture for months. And uh, yeah, and if uh, the glorious ones get it done here, then that, that's it. They've got to be the next in line. All I'm going to say is not my champ. <laughs> Fuck off. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, that, Jimmy Fantastic has had that controversy before, hasn't he? When he uh, when he famously beat EAB with a half crab. <laughs> <laughs> Whether, and it's trending on Twitter again. Hashtag not my champ. Oh god, look at that spine buster from Fan Fox. Yeah, this is much uh, better Fox. now. Fantastic performance here, but now 
able to match Jimmy a bit more for power than he was table leg. But Jimmy has the speed himself. Comes back and takes him down. Fan Fox could do with a tag. He's been in the ring a long time here. I'm sorry, I went for Fan Fox tag Lemon in so Lemon can uh, spray his, you know, Lemon Curdy load all over Jimmy's face. Oh my oh, he's got to wait a second. Fuck off. Lemon with the save. <laughs> There's a little bit of Lemon on Jim then. <laughs> oh. Takes oh, out what? table leg as oh, well. Oh, he's just got to go. The table leg doesn't seem very impressed. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's going to spray you with his curve, Jim. What are you going to do? <laughs> going to rock bottom this asshole. Oh, Jim bottom. Jim bottom. Jim bottom. Jim bottom. Lemon's right there, though. You can't pin it with Lemon right there. Oh, no. What a dumbass. Jim, no ring awareness at all whatsoever. Lemon is uh, gone oh, sailing. Oh, now Lemon is out. Lemon now. Decided he'd waited too long. <laughs> oh, chop oh, to, to the head. Great Carly-esque chop to the, uh, to the head there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fierce, good day. <laughs> Jimmy, oh, fantastic shit at this game. Tag. It's Lemon, he's in, he's in. He's fresh. Lemon versus Wanger. Oh, <laughs> Wanger, what a dodge. Oh, wow, immediate counter from Wanger. Brilliant, brilliant play from him. Yep. Oh, God. He says if you've got oh. fresh lemons, you better squeeze them. <laughs> Ref not interested in the pin there, no. giving that uh, Lemon loads of time to kick out. It's pretty disgusting. It was at least a three count there, but the ref just taking a sweet, sweet time there. Well, that ref, there. I think, is so many hits to the head this uh, night. <laughs> that probably he doesn't even know where he is. Yeah, he's had a rough night, the ref. Yeah. Oh, oh word. Sad. Glorious ones really are dominating this. I don't think Fan Fox is anywhere to be found if Lemon were to get pinned. Oh, it's a good oh. job he's fighting back. Oh. Lemon sprays his curd all over Wanger's face, pushes him into the ropes, jumps over him, goes straight <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. elbow to the neck. Wow. Wanger oh, straight back up, though. Straight back up. Well, you didn't see it. Oh, boy. What's this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there was so much build up for so little impact. Yeah. <laughs> Lemon on top oh. here, dominated. That's brilliant. Jesus. That version, that what a performance from Lemon is good. Lemon drop. Boosh. Is this I it? Is way. this it? To... Why is he not pinning? He's done so much uh, t damage to Table Leg there. Really, really should have gone for the pin. I mean, Table Leg is a beast, though, to be fair. I think he's waiting for the trouble in paradise right in the corner. Fan Fox there look, to cover. Look what they're staring at. Staring Wagger, there. yeah. Staring, staring Wagger the down. Oh, I don't think you should let the big man rest. This is the last thing you want to do. <laughs> he's just waiting for there Wagger. Oh! 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 Drunk. That's exactly what you want to do. <laughs> Fucking hell. Look at that. Absolutely oh, brutal. Fox Fox Jimmy help. comes to the rescue. Jimmy oh, Min-Max Tastic coming in to break it up. Jim's going to eat some lemon himself. <laughs> Oh, the glorious ones in a really, really bad way. And Fan Fox is much fresher now back in. And with Jim out, if Fan Fox could hit something big here, this is all over. Oh, that's in the corner. One getting problems. Oh, oh it's it open. But it's Strong. made him oh. angry. That it's only it. makes one get stronger. Yeah, he is powered by anger. Anger and Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> yep. Frank in the arms, but they're so powerful. Like, well, I it's not a surprise that one girl likes Ferrero Rocher. He dressed like one, so. <laughs> like is an understatement, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I once saw the man in the middle of Leeds eat an entire box by himself. <laughs> Oh, Wagner, Only one. huge clothesline. I mean, did he watch two boxes? <laughs> yeah, he shared some and then ate the other box. <laughs> oh, the blood getting in the eyes of Wanger there. Slowing him down a little bit. Yep. Gave Fan Fox the time. Too much time. Oh, just tossing like a ragdoll. 
Oh god, Jimmy's done for. Wanger can't tag in. Speed of back oh, what a plane kick! Oh, oh, oh doesn't oh. hold on. Doesn't hold on for the pin. Stopping Wanger, mate. The tag. Wanger desperate for the tag, and in comes Lemon. I know Lemon. <laughs> I mean, Fan Fox being a Volpine, but Wanger was hungry like the wolf. Fan Fox having to tap out to his friend there, Lemon. See if Lemon's now freshened up a bit with his like, with his lovely lemony scent. If he can uh, if he can take out Wanger here, tags back in Fan Fox. Oh, they went for the oh. over the glorious ones with their tags. What a splash in the corner! Oh my! What God. a combo! What oh a combo! That must be it. No, Wanger just gets back up. <laughs> oh, wow. he takes more. And again? Definitely He's not laughing. min maxed. Definitely. Wanger is literally laughing. <laughs> if you look closely, you can see the smile on Wanger's face even when yes, he's getting the he's shit. Smiling, he's happy. He's happy. Oh, he's he's fighting. Happy. He's fighting. Hot bottom. The battle of the bottoms and the foxes come out on top. <laughs> Cover it in blue. Oh, the and yeah. punches. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Oh. Wanger! Mrs. Wanger distracted the ref! <laughs> and took him out. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> It's certain dress for business. Oh my goodness, we're seeing the tag team fall apart. Holy it's shit. It's thrown away the match, surely. They had it won. Maybe they could have made a claim to be the title challengers at SummerSlam, and they've fallen out with each other. What is going on? Why did Lemon Bulldog the ref and stop Fan Fox from getting the victory? Ooh. Maybe we'll find out next week. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, Jim is screaming know, for the tag. Yeah. He's in. <laughs> oh, lays out Fan Fox instantly. Oh, but Jimmy. he went for Lemon. Oh. Yeah, Jimmy Fox hungry Fox. like the wolf. Fan Going Fox straight after Fan wolf, Fox. Man. He could do with a tag if Lemon will even tag him now. I'd be surprised if he did. Oh, armbar. I'm sorry if Lemon doesn't want to have a nap, to be honest. Well, Mrs. Wanger looks like she's gone to the Sheila School of Management and she's walking around in circles. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, yes, he's a very tense. See here, uh, harder uh, shoulder. Now Jimmy, Jimmy wants to finish this. Beautiful suplex. Oh, the fantastic splash. He's got no help though. Fan Fox is right there. The cover's in, but surely this is a break. No, Fan Fox doesn't want to break it up. Oh. He says no. Oh, oh my God. He has trust his partner. <laughs> Massive descent in dress for business. Somehow Lemon kicks out. And uh, with Table Leg Wagger back in business himself now, I can't see this one lasting much longer. Jimmy really on top here. <laughs> That's a good point, Bessel. <laughs> oh, dear. Fan Fox will need to do, do something soon because Lemon is absolutely out of the game. Lemon has really left a, a bit of taste in my mouth with his actions. <laughs> Jim's exhausted though, but Table Legs exhausted and busted open. They have taken a lot of punishment. I really think Dresser Business had this if they'd actually worked together one iota. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we go. They're making a tag now. Oh, what a teamwork. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, the business team and now Fun Fox <coughs> ready to end this. Choosing a better time to talk Wanger this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, the agility wow. of Jim. Wow. Oh. What a comeback from Jimmy. He's looking for the Jimmy wants to end this. It's better than the Fox Bottom, he says. And he's proven his points. Jim Bottom. Will <laughs> Lemon choose to save? I bet he won't. Oh, he's coming in. But will he take out the ref? Oh. And yes. Lemon he barely. saves it. He does, he gets punished by Wanger though. Another Jim oh Bottom! Goodness. Another Jim, this is definitely it. Unless, Fat Fox, no, he's down, he's out, he's there's no lemon it. to save. 
GG, well played, Jim. And that's it, the glorious ones prove why they are the contenders for the title. Yep, they've now earned their spot, given to them on a plate by Jim McMahon. And have we just seen the end of Dress for Business? Unbelievable descent in the ranks there, this match. Yeah, they fell apart, didn't they? Yes, they've been very, very rough for them in the last few weeks. Maybe they need a break. <laughs> and there you go, Wanger covered in blood, hugging another man, just like in his wedding night. <laughs> I tell you what, they're going to have to do so much better at SummerSlam to have any chance of becoming the champions, though. Absolutely. Well, now we've got the main event, and it's Frosty taking a shot at the man himself, Night Demon. Can anyone touch Night Demon? It doesn't seem like it. Well, if someone sometimes to fight a monster, you need another monster. Like all the Godzilla movies teach us. So maybe Frosty can encounter the New Orleans voodoo from Night Demon. Yeah, it's a great point. A lot of the opponents we've seen against Night Demon have been a massive mismatch in uh, size differential, but Frostlord really has a very, very similar size and power uh, attributes. So uh, yeah, this this could be actually a pretty interesting one. Yeah, Night Demon has been so dominant, though, hasn't he? But yeah, you know, Frosty, if anyone can do it, maybe Frosty can. How much of the card for SummerSlam, Jim, do we have uh, decided already? Is it just that tag team match? Um, if you bear with me, I'll tell you. Here he comes, man on a mission. Definite extra look of determination in those frosted over eyes. <laughs> um, who, uh, Dave, isn't it? It's Dave. We'll be putting his Wem Dork Championship on the line versus a mystery opponent. Yeah, we and then yeah, we haven't. Got, oh, well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, Friday, we're gonna have um, JBG versus Flicky to see who fights uh, Dimmy for the title. Nice. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be Night Demon versus. That is not being decided who's fighting Night Demon. So yeah, if if Frostlord picked up the win tonight, you'd imagine he could be the uh, the contender. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot. There's not a lot set for it to be honest. Um, maybe yeah, we'll, Mr. We'll Mrs. Theresa May will uh, come out with some <laughs> some announcements. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not Theresa May, so I can't put words in her mouth and say Frostlord would definitely get a title shot, but. You've got to think he'd be in the contention. Well, if he is able to beat Ney Demon, yes, that will make a big point there. But before that, he needs to actually beat Ney Demon. <laughs> That's a fair point for me. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a classic look about it. save their role for extra time, but <laughs> you need to, you know, reach extra time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Night Demon has his thick skull there as well, the best skill in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yes. I mean, uh, all the all the professionals choose thick school for their players. Yeah, yeah. Amazingly, um, <laughs> amazingly, <laughs> um, Rick. Not not maybe with not the worst thick school choice ever, thanks to PTK and PC. Right, I'm gonna be right back. All right. <laughs> now here begins the fight, and I demon. Trying to establish early dominance. He's doing a pretty good job. Oh no, Frosty throws him off. Ah, and Frosty's an angry him. man. Nice. This is the start he needs, isn't it, Fro uh, Frosty? If he doesn't get off to a good start, you'd think it'd be over. But if he starts softening up Night Demon, this starts to even up a bit. Question is versus Night Demon, you can make any mistake at all. You, you have a perfect uh, fight. And Night Demon does what he wants for 10 minutes and then he just zombies the heck out of his opponents and it's all over, right? The mist! The, the mist, mist fail, fail, the mist fail. First he was uh, clever enough to avoid it. Yeah, he did well, but then he got caught and now he's been pinned. Just a tactical pin though, just the one at count. Frosty got plenty left in the tank yet, but he needs to get back on top. Massive suplex. 
Oh, this is reminiscent of all the matches we've seen on Monday Night Claw. Oh, too much missed. Too much missed, though. And Frosty catches him in the DDT. Well, it's actual missed, or it's just how you know, a cor <laughs> Corona. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, tosses him. This is what we were saying. Frosty can actually match Night Demon for power. Tosses him across the ring. Slams him into the corner. Really nice from Frostlord. Maybe Night Demon's getting a little too confident with all that celebrating, with all the wins that he's had. This has always been a <coughs> fighting uh, much less than usual. This is letting his uh, lackeys do all the work. That's it. A little bit of ring rust, maybe. Oh, but he holds on for the pin. It's just a one kite again, though. Frostlord really has brought his, uh, his A game today. And now Naidimon proving that the crazy power. Oh my goodness. Un inhuman power. And the and the zombie. The zombie is there. We've seen oh, it all. Oh, is this it? Two. No. Oh, no. Kicks out of the zombie. We don't see that very often at all. And he's fighting back. Where is he finding this from? Post zombie. Rushing the thick skull of uh, of Night Demon. I don't know how much effect that'll actually have on Night Demon, but he's giving it a good go. Well, if someone has mighty blow, that's Frosty. Oh. Huge scoop slam with a vengeance into a pin. Might be a two count. No. Oh, look at that. Barely even a one count. Night Demon just insta kicking out. Dear me. What do you have to do? Night Demon, much fresher than he looks. <coughs> Frosty, oh, Punish in there, and now... Jesus Christ. Look at the speed of oh, Night Oh, Jesus Christ. What a demonstration by Night Demon. They weren't even that fast in the Olympics. Where does he get these powers from? Oh, he's biting the fingers. Biting the... F oh, there is no depth he won't stick to. That could be it for Frostlord. He's been absolutely devastated. Finds a way to kick out again. Oh, no. He's still a manage. Oh, my God. Disgustrous oh. tactics. Knows what a chance this is to prove that he should be in the top picture on a massive power slam. Look at the strength. But he's exhausted. He's trying to find a way. Watching Night Demon pick himself up back on the rope. Surely get in there, Frosty. Oh, he's just... He's too out of it. He's too devastated from the inhumaneness of Night Demon. Oh, okay. Finally squashing him in the corner. And calling for the maybe the pedigree? Oh, yeah, pedigree. Yes, oh, yes. He's going for it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Will this be enough? Is this, this, this it? Is this, this it? Devastating maneuver to... Oh, no. my goodness. I thought that was it. I thought it was over. <laughs> yes, I thought the real most terror of Night Demon was over, but no. It doesn't take long for Night Demon to recover, though. Oh. That was a regeneration beyond that of a mortal man. And yet the power of Frostlord Army still apparent. He's exhausted, though. He's given so much already. He's taken so much punishment. He's dished so much out. He's only human. It does make you wonder if any mere mortal can defeat Night Demon. It doesn't feel like it. Boy, what is clear is Frosty is not a mere mortal. Frosty tried but... so hard then, but that's just ridiculous. Nobody can do that. Hanging suplex on Frosty. How did he even get him up there? Here comes the red mist again. Frosty could give up at any moment now. He can't have anything left in the tank. Fuck off, oh. my demon. My demon. So that hits. And now. Oh my goodness. With one zombie away from the end, this could be it right now. Another suplex. Oh, the power bomb. Oh, well, 
Damas beat. Damas oh, beat. Frosty. Like oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my so close. He knows Amazing. this is the match of his career. Oh, but the zombie. He's done so well, but the zombie is all she wrote. Wait, oh, what's he doing? Oh, oh he just, just uh, casually walking around the ring with him first. Proving a point. Nobody beats Night Ring. I still, I still Frosty what? is still alive. Wow. <laughs> you would have thought at this point that Frosty's balls would have shrunk like raisins, but no, he's getting up and he's going back at it. How many times can he take these, take these hits? I don't think he's got many more in him, to be honest. There was no way he could kick out of that zombie. That made no sense. I can't believe he's kicked out of that zombie. He really, really wants a title shot at SummerSlam, if it's even on the cards. He's fighting oh, back. He's found something. Oh, oh, it's over. Pedigree. Pedigree. Oh, my Pedigree. God. He is. He's done it. it. He's done it. He has achieved it. Surely GG. not. Surely not. The ref takes a oh. No. Oh. Too long, ref. <laughs> oh, the, wait, it was a long count. Yeah, the ref was in it. Oh man! Screwed him. What? What Screwed a fight! What a trilly. fight! Frosty's so exhausted, but kicks out of the leg sweep. Screwed him out of his SummerSlam title shot. Deary me! Red missed once more. He's devastating knees to the chest, crushing. The, uh, the breathing apparatus of Frosty, maybe breaking a rib, maybe giving him a punctured lung. Oh, man. Oh, man. Another incredible hit. Yeah, now. Oh, my goodness. Holy Frosty God. is enduring a level of punishment I have never seen in the GFW. Just stay down, Frosty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just, just stay down, mate. We're so impressed. But it's it's too much. It's too oh oh oh, and now the third zombie. If he doesn't get the counter here. It's probably going to be over. The third zombie. And Surely he it. can't get out of this one. Surely. Nobody can. Go. Nobody can. Night demon. That. His real terror continues for another week. I do, I do feel sorry for Frostled Army because what an effort, but just nobody. He's at the level that Night Demon's at right now. He's, he's in a league of his own. He really is, yeah. I mean, that was incredible from Frosty. And... <sighs> what a performance from Frosty, and it's still not enough. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kicking out of the second zombie was just, yeah, next level stuff from Frostlord, but. Uh... But two pedigrees wasn't enough. When have we seen two pedigrees not be enough? Well, we have now. Yeah. Unbelievable stuff from Night Demon. What an ending for this uh, night, Monday Night Claw. What a program has been. Yeah, it has been amazing. Thank you so much, Faimir and Rick, for being the professional core commentators glorious thing and all force of course has been here with us <laughs> yes thanks for why you missed that's why you missed out the professional bit exactly yeah <laughs> oh, yeah okay so i'm the commentator you know it do be like that jimmy yeah and thanks for fault force for popping in and thank you very much Bezor, for doing all the predictions and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic